Hey guys, back with another video from Super Good Pixel. It's the Variant Play Art Stormtrooper from Square. Now this is based off the original Stormtrooper, but it's an alternate made-up version that Square did. Now this is the third in the series. They have a Darth Vader and um, Boba Fett as well. Bandai also has a series of reimagined figures that they're kind of based off samurai. Now the instructions are on this inside insert which seems sort of interesting and surprising but when I remove the box you see there's a stand and it's kind of like a model you got to put together and for some reason this back cardboard thing was really beat up even though this is a new sealed box. I did get this as an import from Japan um, through Amazon this is about a um, $70, $80 figure, although I've seen them as low as 40 on eBay and as high as like $200, $300 everywhere else. This figure is a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be, which is a good thing. Um, I was kind of on the fence about getting this, but it is a Stormtrooper, so I figured, hey, what the hell. Now you get um, basically three right hands, three left hands, these are the two that aren't on the figure for each, and then you get this large gun, or I don't know if that's a sniper rifle or or what, and you get this um, pretend laser blast that you can put, actually fits into the end of the gun, looks like you're shooting, which is kind of neat, but I never really liked those things, they kind of look like um, ice cream popsicles. Now here's a, um, look at the figure, the, I like this figure, and it also bugs me. I'll have to say the paint job bothers me. It's It has this really super dark wash on it, like it was dipped in black paint and then wiped down. And then on top of that, it has a gloss. So it's not a super paint job, in my opinion. I'll, I'll, we'll look at the box cover and compare it to the the nice pretty uh, painting art of it and, and you'll see what I mean but this figure is super articulated and you can pretty much do extreme poses with this figure anything you could think of you could probably do now as you can see he will stand up decently without um, the uh, stand as long as you sort of balance him and this is the stand put together like I said it's kind of like a little model kit you have to actually use an exacto knife to cut off the pieces off the tree and you will get little parts you have to shave down but it is a cool figure and you can pretty much do any pose that you can imagine it is extremely flexible although um, when you move the joints they all feel like this figure is like fighting you where it like it feels like you're gonna break it but it snaps into place so you can do any pose you want but I, um, I don't feel comfortable like messing with it too much. That's why after I got it in the right or a decent uh, pose, then I, I kind of want to leave it alone. But I, I, st I stuck the short gun inside uh, his uh, belt, and then he's using the long rifle. That way I don't have to... I have both weapons on him. Now see, here's the box art. And I, I prefer that it looked like that, the paint job, but whatever. And this is next to a 1-6 scale figure, so you see it's not a 1-6 scale figure by any means, but it, it is large. And it it is a cool idea. Uh, i just uh, not a fan of the paint job, but I had to get it. It's a Stormtrooper, what can I say? Thanks for watching this video. It was short. If you want to support us, go to Super Good Pixel, check out our games. Um, we've got uh, some Android games up there that are free. If you can check them out, if you like them, rate them, like this video, subscribe, and we'll get back to you with some 1-6 figures very soon. Thanks.